The Mississippi State Bulldogs is our dynasty team for NCAA football 2003. Well, let's get right into it with the coach creation and our schedule for the 2002-2003 football season. Here we go. The head coach will be Ralph Crest, my grandfather. The only team I switched up on our schedule is 1AA Southeast. I took them off of there. Number one team in the country is Miami Hurricanes, which is no surprise since they should have won that national championship game if not for the ref who threw the flag, you know, after the team had already celebrated the victory. We will be running a triple option offense due to the speed of our freshman quarterback. It'll be on Heisman, six minute quarters, but I might switch it to seven depending on stats and how realistic it all ends up being. But our overall is a B, and we're going up against Oregon in the first game of the season, which is ranked number eight. And they have a lot of speed. We do not. So that'll definitely be a big mismatch for us. But I'm going to let Brad Nessler, Lee Corso, and Kirk Herbstreit take over. Thompson Stadium is brimming with excitement as the fans are ready for the start of this one. And the rain looks like it's going to make things a little bit slippery out there for today's game between the Mississippi State Bulldogs and the Oregon Ducks. And here come the Ducks. The early season continues. Hi again, everybody, and welcome. I'm Brad Nestler with Kirk Herbstreit and Lee Corso, and we're ready to bring you what appears to be another fantastic college gridiron matchup. The Ducks are a confident bunch of kids, and rightfully so. Kirk, this team is just too powerful. Well, I think you're right. I think this one's going to be a blowout. Oregon will win this football game on the legs of their running back. He's got that rare combination of power and speed. Look for the offensive line to overpower him up front, and he'll have a big game running the football. You're 100% correct. Mississippi State is not going to be able to slow down this rushing attack, and I'm going to tell you why. That defensive line is going to get dominated up front, Kirk. And they're going to lose this one big. Thanks, guys. Let's take it down to the field and get ready for the game. The key players to watch this season are freshman quarterback Ken Topps. We want to see if he can stay healthy in the triple option offense. Our senior middle linebacker, Mario Hagan. He's the leader of our defense. And our senior fullback, Justin Griffith. We want to try to get him 15 carries a game. Our junior kicker, John Michael Marlin, who just kicked off for our 2002 season. Um, can he hit from 40 plus yards? And our senior tight end, Donald Lee, can we count on him to get third downs? Ontario Smith up the middle, gets about seven yards on that. There's a third and one attempt for Oregon. And Fife rolling out, rolling. Fife with all day to throw, throws it to the right, and Hagen deflects it. Mississippi State takes the field for the first time. Griffith in the backfield, Walker to the left. They fake the run up the middle to Griffith. Tops flips it out to Walker. Jukes a man out. First down. Nice run by Walker. The Bulldog is happy. Nice play to move the chains and get the first first down of the season. Walker in the backfield. Option to the left. He pitches it. Makes a couple guys miss and doesn't really get too much on that. Third and seven. Tops in the shotgun formation with Walker to his right. Stops back, throws to Goldberg, and he does not make the grab. Fourth down. Fife throwing it. Nice catch by Rice there to get four yards on that. Ontario Smith in the backfield on third and seven. See what they can do here. And nothing on that one. Fourth down. Mississippi State takes over. They're from the backfield, and Tops gets smashed in the backfield. Nothing doing on that, and he's hurt his hand on the play. Fant comes in. Let's see what he can do with the shotgun offense. Throws it out. Tubbs makes a great catch. First down, down to the 45-yard line. Bulldog is happy yet again. Good news is Ken Tops will return to the game. Probably just a little stinger in his hand. Fant in the shotgun, throws it. Goldberg, nice catch. Down to the 35-yard line. First down, Bulldogs. Fant in the shotgun again. See what he can do here. Pressure coming on, and he got him. Great sack. Left tackle is going to have to improve if they want to win some games here. Norwood with a great catch on third and long. Didn't get it. Fourth and inches, tops. And he gets smashed and doesn't get the first down. Turnover on downs. Oregon takes over. 
Fife pitches it out right to Smith, and he gets decked in the backfield for a nice loss by Jack. What a great play. Fife under center, empty formation. They're going to throw it here. Launches it downfield and does not get it. Fourth down. Mississippi State takes over again. Griffith in the backfield. Looks like they're going to go for a triple option. They hand it off to the middle. Nice truck stick. Gets about four yards on that play. Second and six. Ken Tops fakes the handoff. Rolls out to the right. Launches it to Walker. Nice grab. One-handed down to the 26-yard line. Great first down play. Tops trying to lull the defense to sleep here with his slow triple option offense. Hands it off again up the middle. Griffith gets about four yards. Second and seven. Tops from the shotgun. He's going to run it. Shoots a man out. Gets down to about the 13-yard line. First down. Second and nine. Triple option again. Out to the left side. He doesn't pitch it. Gets about seven yards on that. And he's going to run up the middle again. First and goal down to the two-yard line is Ken Tops. See what they're going to do on first and goal. Hand it off to Griffith. Touchdown, Bulldogs. And Mississippi State is on the board first with a 7-0 lead here in the second quarter. Oregon takes over. I formation. Floberg with a nice spin move, and he gets 10 yards. First down for the big fullback. Look at that spin move. I formation again. Laying it off to Ontario Smith. He gets stuffed after a three-yard gain. I formation for a third play in a row, and it doesn't work this time either. Smith gets tackled for no gain. Fife dropping back. He's going to throw it. Deflected. Great stop. Fourth down. Mississippi State will take over again. Nice run up the gut for Justin Griffith. Five yards. Shotgun formation. Three to the right. Let's see what Tops can do. He's going to roll. Oh, he gets sacked before he can roll out of the pocket. That's the third hurry and second sack in this game. Oregon will take over. Single back formation. He's going to launch it deep. Incomplete. Burdett with nice close coverage. Mississippi State will take over once again with a minute 15 left. Ooh, Tops gets smashed for a loss of three. Third and 14. Tops is going to roll. And gets sacked again. Three sacks. Two sacks for Wright today. What a game he's having in the first half. Fife launches it. Parker with a great catch. Eight yards on the play. 53 seconds left. Clock is still ticking. So they're going to go with a hurry up. No huddle. They got three guys to the right. Fife under center. Fife rolling out right. Launches it. What a one-handed grab. Diving catch. That is just something that you cannot teach. That is pure natural ability right there, folks. Under center is Fife. No running back. Three to the right, around the 14-yard line. Drops back, and he's wide open in the back of the end zone for a touchdown. Mississippi State's lead is gone. Ten tops, rolling out to the right on the option. A lot of room. Pitches it out of bounds for some reason. The Bulldog is happy. I don't know why. That was an awful decision to pitch that. Ten tops, rolling out to the left. Launches it deep to Norwood, who can't make the grab. That would have been an amazing play. Shotgun formation. He's going to roll to the right. And Tops gets smashed at the 40, short of the first down. They call a timeout. Third and two with 12 seconds left. He's rolling to the left. Still rolling. Nobody's there. Great run. Great awareness. Six seconds left. It's going to be a Hail Mary here. See if they can get any points out of it. He's open. Oh, and he overshot him by about a yard. Tied at seven to end the first half of play. Mississippi State comes out with a triple option. Tops pitch out to Norwood. And he's tackled after a nice game. Tops dropping back. Sacked again, and he fumbles it. Oregon recovers it at the 11-yard line. Fife hands it off to Ontario Smith and breaks a tackle and gets about four yards. The running game has been pretty bad for both teams today. Fife launches it deep in the back of the end zone for another touchdown. The defensive backs from Mississippi State are not doing a very good job today. Griffith could smash for a loss. Tops fakes the handoff. Rolling to the right. Launches it deep. And it's picked off by Webster. Spin move. He's out in the wide open field. Take it down at about the 27-yard line. This is exactly what Mississippi State did not want to do. Smith to the right. It's 
about nine yards on first down. Here we go, second and one. Fife rolls to the left side. Stiff arms a man, gets down to about the 25 yard line. And that fullback, Matt Floberg, has injured his foot. He'll be out for one quarter, you can see on the bottom there. Fife with a fake handoff. Nice one handed catch by Howery. High formation, handed off to Smith. Nice tackle by Wright to save the touchdown. And off to the fullback, and he's taken down to two, no gain. Third and goal coming up. They hand it off to Smith again. Breaks one tackle, but can't make any more of a miss. They hold no field goal. Mississippi State throws it, and it's picked off again by Webster. Breaks two tackles there. That was weird. Dixon with a tackle to save a touchdown at the 30-yard line. Ontario Smith gets the handoff, and that's a nice 17-yard run for Ontario Smith, who is now averaging four yards per carry. Smith to the right side. Mowinney with a huge tackle there at the eight-yard line. Third and two from the five. Amundsen gets the first down, gets stopped at the two-yard line. Fife breaks the tackle, and he walks into the end zone. Oregon is rolling at this point. There's not much Mississippi State can do. They're just making mental mistakes, turning the ball over. This is a nice run by Ken Tops. Tops rolls out to the left, throws it short to Jenkins for a nice seven yard pickup and a first down. Shotgun formation, Tops rolls to the right, throws it to the right to Reed for a nice four or five yard gain. High snap, throws it out to Tubbs. Nice play down to the 35 yard line, first down. Tops runs through the middle of the field, gets about 12 yards, and dives for extra yardage. Another shotgun formation, three to the right, launches it deep, and Tubbs can't make the grab. Fant is now in the game, as Tops has been injured again. Norwood motions left. They throw it that way, and he can't make the grab. Fourth down. And Marlin cannot hit the field goal. That's one of the main concerns for our kicking game is the distance that our kicker can hit. We're going to need that in close games. And he's just not up to par. Fife drops back, throws it short for a nice four yard gain. They hold him to a punt. Finally a stop for Mississippi State. And it's muffed. He muffed the punt. Jenkins dives on it. Oregon gets the ball again. Mississippi State cannot catch a break. Floodgates have opened. Ontario Smith gets about six yards on that carry. High formation, third and three. Smith to the right breaks the tackle. He might take it, and he does. Touchdown, Oregon. This game is getting out of hand now, folks. What a great run by Ontario Smith. Breaking the tackle, using his speed to get to the corner, and falls forward into the end zone for six. Not much you can do to stop that. Tops rolling to the right on the option play. Norwood gets it. And he jukes and gets down about the 48 yard line. Nice run by Norwood. Might have to get him some more playing time. As Griffith gets destroyed up the middle. And Ken Tops going out there laying a block. Nice play by the freshman quarterback there. Griffith. Up the middle, doesn't take it. Tops pitches it to Norwood, and he fumbles it. Oregon with another takeaway. Mississippi State cannot stop the mistakes. Ontario Smith to the left, and he gets about five yards. Third and four, under a minute to go. Ontario Smith up the middle. Big run, big hole right out in the middle of the field. First down on the 21-yard line. That's the game, folks. We couldn't do anything in the second half. Just nothing but turnovers, mistakes, you know, misplays, drop passes. Just all around just a bad game in the second half. We had one good drive today, but hopefully next game we'll be able to get a little bit more done. Because 206 yards of total offense is not going to get you any wins. 94 yards rushing and a triple option attack is just awful. Three turnovers. 
intercepted once. We couldn't even do anything on special teams. Poor blocking. That muffed punt really hurt us. We held their offense in check, but they held ours in check. And their defense made more plays than we did. Might have to get Kevin Fant some more playing time. 3 for 5, 57 yards. That's pretty good for the little amount of playing time that he had today due to injury from Ken Topps. But he won't be able to run the option, but we might sub him into the shotgun formations to get a little more of our passing game going. Uh, Greg Jack did great on defense today. Ball and Morgan had a couple of deflections. John Michael Marlin obviously cannot hit a field goal from 40 plus yards. So we're going to have to figure something out, get our offense popping a little bit better. Our next game will be a home game versus Texas Tech, the number 10 team in the country. I will make some adjustments to our offense and possibly special teams to see if we can get a better game plan going. But until then, this week is over, and I will see you guys in our next game versus the Texas Tech Red Raiders. Take it easy.